Schools in King County outside of Seattle can register for the King County Green Schools program and receive assistance and recognition in progressing through three levels of sustainability actions. Level 1, Waste Reduction and Recycling. Level 2, Energy Conservation. And Level 3, Water Conservation. This year, with advice from the Friends of the Cedar River Watershed, King County Green Schools expanded Level 3 by adding Water Conservation and Pollution Prevention. This development recognizes the new regional effort to prevent storm water runoff pollution from getting into our waterways and contaminating Puget Sound. King County Green School participants can earn additional recognition in the following categories. Environmental education, environmental purchasing, green building, hazardous materials management, litter reduction, and transportation options. Puget Sound starts here in the actions of every green team in every school. There's a lot of us. Back in the 2008-2009 school year, 53 schools completed Level 1 and were recognized as King County Green Schools. One year later, by the end of the 2009-2010 school year, there were 106 schools participating. By the end of the year 2010-2011, there were 120 schools. 74,028 students had opportunities to become engaged in sustainable practices. 119 schools have completed Level 1. 61 schools have completed Level 2, and 25 schools have completed Level 3. Of the total number of participating schools in the 2010-11 school year, more than 60% were elementary schools, followed by middle schools, then high schools. The pattern seems to be growing from the bottom to the top. Younger students are gaining sustainability knowledge that will naturally drive upward pressure on behavior change as these students grow through the system, graduate, go on to college, become engaged citizens, wise voters, and conscious consumers. Another impressive trend is the increase in district-wide commitments. If an individual school registers as a King County Green School, it's usually driven by a single passionate teacher or team of students. But when a whole district makes the same commitment, it means that there is greater potential for systematic institutional change. In 2010 to 11, there were eight school districts participating in the King County Green Schools program. Bellevue, Federal Way, Highline, Issaquah, Kent, Mercer Island, Tahoma, and Vashon. Tahoma and Bellevue were the first school districts in our watershed to have 100% of their schools complete level one. Last year, the Mercer Island School District joined their ranks. Here are some highlights from the three school districts leading the trend. Tahoma School District highlights. The district reduced its garbage disposal costs by 24%, saving $25,000. Five out of eight schools in the district collect their food scraps and food soiled paper, which are then composted at Cedar Grove Composting. To reduce paper use, the district has double-sided photocopying and printing policy. A voicemail system is used to send district-wide messages to parents. Durable lunch trays are used in every school and compostable cardboard trays are used only when necessary. Bellevue School District highlights. 15 out of 27 schools in the district have completed Level 3. The remaining 12 schools plan to complete Level 3 in the 2011-2012 school year. All 16 elementary schools and one middle school collect food scraps and food soiled paper for composting with Cedar Grove. Student computers turn off automatically at 4.30 p.m. and staff computers at 5 p.m. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems are scheduled to switch off during holidays and unoccupied periods. Vending misers control energy use on vending machines. Green cleaning products are used by custodial services. Mercer Island School District highlights. All five schools in the district have completed Level 1, three schools have completed Level 2, and the other two plan to complete Level 2 in the 2011-2012 school year. Styrofoam in school cafeterias was eliminated district-wide, and all trays, plates, bowls, and cups are either durable or compostable. Plastic utensils also were discontinued and replaced by durable or compostable silverware. Each school lunchroom now collects food scraps and food soiled paper to be composted at Cedar Grove Composting. The district reduces paper use by distributing parent newsletters electronically. The school board just began using laptops to eliminate those big three-ring binders crammed with policy papers and reports. 
Issaquah School District is very, very close to this same accomplishment with 21 of its 24 schools completing Level 1. We look forward to updating these results next year. An impressive megatrend among participating King County Green Schools is that 75 schools, or 62% of active participants, collected food scraps for composting during the 2010-2011 school year. That's compared to only 48% in 2009-2010. This is a huge increase and it's heading in the right direction. Here's how our watershed school districts stack up for 2010-11. 100% of Mercer Island schools compost food scraps. 88% of Issaquah schools compost. Same with Tahoma. In the Lake Washington School District, 75% of schools compost food scraps. In Bellevue, 63, Renton and Kent are just getting started. A new statewide program called Washington Green Schools was launched in 2009. The Seattle School District, which isn't eligible to participate in the King County Green Schools program, had six out of their 84 schools registered as Washington Green Schools by the end of June 2010. One year later, in June 2011, there were 30 Seattle schools registered. The district has reached 35% green school enrollment in just two years. I wonder when it will achieve 100% enrollment. Washington Green Schools is organized into five environmental categories. Energy efficiency, recycling and waste reduction, toxics reduction and indoor air quality, transportation and outdoor air quality, and water quality and conservation. Certification at each level is achieved by earning at least 100 points per category and by implementing a lasting change project with measurable and verifiable impact. This means you can't just do things on a checklist and feel green. You have to make lasting changes, and that means getting teachers, students, and administrators to look hard at their old habits and make changes that actually shift the system towards sustainability. Each year, that's what we measure with our series of watershed report updates.